Another day in the 302, in the hobby, have some errands to take care of. Got to say goodbye to the Kyler Murray Flawless as it was sold. But you had $200. I do. But I want to spend Red's money. We'll see what else happens throughout the day, what developments we have with the cards, with the sales, with the buying. I never know when I wake up in the morning what's going to happen. Got a card, maybe two, maybe three coming in from eBay today. Got to check my list and my tracking. Definitely have a package coming from Amazon with some card savers in it so I can go ahead and catch up on my raw card evaluations. Also going to go pick up a vision cartridge for my hot tub and swing by the post office. So we'll see. Take you guys along. Maybe go check Walmart for some wax. I don't know. It just depends on if I need anything else from there. Reuse your supplies. I get caught up on my list as I've had about four or so cards arrive as well as five or six purchases. Josh Allen, Mythical out of 25, Optic, Black Pandora, Firestorm Derrick Henry. You guys have seen these, Cracked Ice, Saquon that actually came from Com C, Justin Fields, Cosmic. I got a Cosmic Raw and a Cosmic PSA 10, so I got to keep those separately. I believe that was an Instagram purchase, yes. Tom Brady Starcade. Luca, Blue Select. Mahomes, Solar Eclipse. Almost forgot. Tie Dye, Kyler Murray BGS 10, Instagram. We're adding a Lamar Jackson Starcade, an Allen and Ginter Jackie Joyner Kersey, a Justin Fields Gold Firestorm, a Tom Brady and a PSA 10 Firestorm case hit, a Tom Brady Raw Solar Eclipse that I can't wait to get, and then a Justin Fields, J Fields, PSA 10, Red Select. And because I'm buying raw and graded, I got to make sure I differentiate between the two. I received a super interesting trade offer on Veriswap. And even though going on that platform sometimes can be very annoying, it's hard to make deals. This trade offer has been offered to me and I really don't know what to do. I really can't make up my mind. So I want to go over there with you guys and get some thoughts from you. Do you actually plan on getting out of bed anytime today? Hmm? Anytime today? You want the cuddles. Someone wants to give me this. Mike Trout. So if I get a better look at it, I got pictures. This Mike Trout Flawless Spikes card, this is a cleat. It's got a big chunky piece of cleat on it. It's numbered out of 14. They want to give it to me for the Patrick Mahomes Solar Eclipse that I just recently picked up. Both players, Mahomes and Trout, I know are highly liquid. I don't do a lot with baseball. But the thing is, I don't know the value of this. It's numbered out of 14. It's an unlicensed product, so I'm not really sure how popular that is. I have my Mahomes valued at $550. I bought this Mahomes for $400. So in essence, if I was to make this trade, it would be like I was, you know, paying $400 for this Mike Trout. So that's what I that's how I got to look at it and see if it's worth $400 and if it would be something that's easy to move. I really don't know. I, I kind of need you guys' help with the unlicensed product, big chunky piece of his shoe on, and it is game used. It's not just player worn. Interestingly enough, I just got an offer on a Sam Darnold Immaculate BGS 9.5 that I just put up last night. I have 150 value on it. If someone is willing to give me 150 value for this or liquid trade, I'll definitely take it. All of my Sam Darnolds that I moved from here on out are profits. I broke even on him. So really, it doesn't matter what I take. I just want to, you know, get something back out of it. The offer that I've received is uh, from someone. They got some high heavy hitters. I got to get down in that $150 price range. I'm looking here at a Deshaun Watson Silver Prism. I don't have a lot of faith in this card. He has it valued at $200, but it is very liquid all day long at $100, anywhere between like $90 and $100, which means if I was to trade the Sam Darnold for this, I would be able to slap this right up on eBay and get $90 to $100 for it. Then I would have to pay my fees, you know, maybe $75. If I put it on my slabs, uh, if someone saw it and bought it, you know, less fees. A couple people interested in the Luca. Everyone is interested in the Luca Blue Prism. That card is as good as cash right now. It's popular. He's having the best season of his career, and it's Luca. His cards just are always very highly in demand. So this is a card that I want to take my cash offer for, or I'm going to have to get over my trade value for it 
in order to move it. If I'm going to move it into more cards, then I want more cards uh, than the actual sale value of this because again this is as good as cash i'd like to talk to you guys about a couple cards that i've been doing some research on one of them i've actually bought and the reasoning why i think they're kind of like i don't want to say undervalued in the market but they're fairly priced and they're good cards of two of the uh, youngest most popular hottest players in the nfl and in the nba and i feel like when you look at some of the, your other options out there that for the price you can get some bang for your buck on these cards and i've done some research and i've done some numbers I've made a purchase of one of these, and I'm looking at one of the others. First card is the Select Blue Luca that I've picked up. You've seen it on Instagram. If you follow me, it's already been posted over there. You saw it earlier in this video as I was marking it off my list. And I told you in my last video that I was actually going to get into my reasoning behind purchasing this card. When I look at this card and I compare it to some of his other popular cards, mainly the 2018 Prism Silver, very popular card in the hobby, also a little bit polarizing. And I look at that right now, and right now your values on that card are nestled somewhere in there between the 1100 and the 1250 mark, or $1,000 sometimes if you find a good auction. One thing I would like to talk about on this card is that the pop report on this is 2,273. There is your PSA data right there. So the pop isn't super low, but the card is in high demand. So right now the demand is keeping up with the supply. And like I said, it's selling somewhere between $1,000 and $1,250. You do have to be careful, however, because this is a card that Captain Shillington does like to buy. So you do got to check your bid history on that. I got a couple where I've seen they've been shilled. And I've also had some in that $1,100 ballpark where they are legit. So again, this card right now sitting between $1,000 and $1,200. Once a monster card has now come down, a very popular card in the hobby. Let's talk about the 2018 Optic Hollow with only 335 of those in the pop report. Another clean looking, nice card if you like Luca. Also sitting in there around that $700 to $800 ballpark, maybe $750 to $850. It just kind of sits right there and it's not moving, it's not going down. And I believe that sometimes that's a good opportunity to grab something before it spikes. And it's probably pretty basemented out. For me, when I look at the select blue, I say, well, it's already serial numbered out of 299. And it's a color match. All right. And it's sitting right in there between the price of the optic hollow and the prism silver. Now, the, the silver version of this is still sitting down there around a five or $600 card. This card here is sitting at around that $900 mark. So you could look at an optic hollow at 335 pop and it's going to climb. And the Prism Silver pop at 2273, and it's going to climb. They're not serial numbered. They are silver, but they're not color match. And your top three product from 2018, when you're talking about cards that aren't your RPAs and such, were your Prism, were your Optic, and were your Select. And this is prior to Select being pumped into the market, being retail, getting other variations, and just being absolutely crazy. This is actually when Select was a limited print run and limited to hobby only. So... When I look at the pop report on PSA, the PSA 10 pop report is at 64, only 64. Now, mind you, it cannot go over 299 because this is a serial number card. If you head to SGC and you look at the pop report, five total graded. So that's five total graded, and there are no SGC 10s. There's only 9.5 mint plus. If you head over to Beckett, you can see where 80 have been graded, and there have been 58 9.5 gem mints. Now, those are min gems. This could be all over the place. There might be true gems in there, but that's just their variation of their 9.5, regardless of subgrades. There's 80 total graded. There's been one pristine 10 graded over there. So when you look at the complete pod report, uh, you know, of total graded, you're looking at 161 for PSA, 5 for SGC, so now you're at 166 and then 80 for Beck. You look at the total pop report graded on this card, you're now looking at 246 out of 299 total that can be graded, and 64 of those are currently in a PSA 10. It will not reach 100 in the pop, unless like 80 to 90 percent of the remaining raw copies somehow get PSA 10s and all go to PSA. And I'm going to guess that a lot of these probably haven't been graded because they're not gradable. For me, the bang for their buck, the value on this card right here with the eye appeal, with the serial number, with the low pops, 
sitting right there between two other popular cards that have higher pop and uh, don't have the eye appeal, in my opinion. Now, you're going to say, Steve, you're being biased because you've already bought this card. My answer to that is I did all this research, then I bought this card, and that's because I put my money where my mouth is. I do my numbers, and if I feel confident in a card, I go out there and I buy it. I don't just talk about it, all right? And I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just saying from my perspective, this is what I looked at. This is what I actually did. You know, I make a decision. I'm willing to ride or die with my purchases. Headed to the post office. Going to also take care of a couple other errands. What I will do is I'm not going to talk about the second card that I think is a bargain right now because I haven't bought it myself. I have some lined up. I'm making bids, but I'm not sure if I'm going to win or not. And I want to have the card to be able to show you guys. I also want to see if you guys enjoy that type of content. That type of content I haven't done in a while, and I used to do it back in the day, talking about cards that I thought were undervalued, but I don't give any kind of advice on what to buy. I just actually show you what I'm doing, which case in point, I bought that card, and I just gave you my mindset as to why I was purchasing it. So again, I'll just use this as a gauge, because I want to put out content that you guys want to watch. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Do we have any visitors? Oh, ready for this? You ready? Oh, hungry. Going back to work today. So I like to prep my meals while I go to work. That's the easiest way for me to maintain my diet. When you're 47, you gotta do what you can do to keep yourself healthy. I may not be jacked like some of those other YouTube content creators out there, but I find the easiest way to maintain is on my days off, kind of give myself what I don't wanna say monstrous cheat days, but to eat, but to eat a little bit more liberally my five days that I work, if I prep my meals, they're always ready. I don't want the food to go to waste, so I'm gonna eat it. And, you know, I just try to buy healthy enough that it's tasty. I got these onions and peppers in here, and I'm gonna use this organic grass-fed beef, this half pound. Also cooking up about two to three egg whites and two whole eggs for myself. I get my eggs from a local farm. I don't buy them from the supermarket. I know this isn't a cooking or a health channel, so you guys don't even give a shit. Where are the cards? Hit this with a little bit of that jerk marinade at the end just to give it a little jerk beef flavor the eggs are ready to eat hot tubs are its normal automatic maintenance cleanup on itself but i gotta get in here and change out this division cartridge right quick easy breezy oh no i forgot to take your doggy door off i'm sorry next morning we'll end this video with a trip to the mailbox had a couple cards arrive hey stay such a good doggy. Look, we got some cards. We got some cards. Let's go. What's funny about this package is this is a uh, Veriswap package, and however, they are using the eBay authentication boxes. I would show you the front, and you can see where my label uh, with my address has been placed over top of an old label. You can see the Veriswap card thrown right over top of the eBay box. The Michael Jordan hardcore insert. I traded the Ernie Banks autograph for this. I had valued the Ernie Banks at 300. These sell all day on eBay for 400 plus, low pop for, jo for a Jordan 90s insert. And where else are you gonna get to see cards with sausages cooking in the background? Next card is the Jackie Joyner Kersey, Topps Allen & Ginter On Card Auto. I had one of these a couple years ago at my first Culture Collision show, I sold it. And it was one card that I really wanted back because I collect the Allen & Ginter uh, autographs of US gold medalist, and she's one of the goats in the Olympics, not just a gold medalist, but one of the best ever. And I finally got another one. Like these really don't come up for sale often. I just bought this card yesterday. Today is Friday, the 16th. I think I just bought this card on the 15th. I'm not sure, fast, fast shipping if so. 2019 Optic Mythical. Mythicals are now case hits. I'm not sure if 2019, if they are case hits, I'm, I'm not really sure. But this one is the Black Pandora, Aaron Rodgers. Black Pandora is out of 25. This was 105 bucks. I kind of actually believe that this was a steal because not only is it serial numbered out of 25, it is a pop one. And there will be an Aaron Rodgers or a Packer collector out there that would love to have this, you know, for the 150 to 200 dollar range. And in my mind, that's you know, it's just a quick flip. Everyone out there who's been supporting the channel and this style of content and supporting me, I thank you very much. We're gonna film right on through the train going if you can hear it. Um, but I am gonna pull back a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't deter you everyday watchers or every other day watchers from continuing to watch the videos. But I also am slowing down and I've always said, I will keep up the content with what I'm doing. And if I'm starting to slow down, especially on my buying, I'm gonna start selling. So there may be some selling content. 
I will keep the videos rolling. They'll just be a little bit more few and far between. Thank you guys for liking. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys again for supporting. I will see you in the next one. Enjoy your weekend. By the time you watch this, your weekend will be over. I hope you enjoyed your weekend.